Friends, uh, you are welcome to this uh, online teaching, and uh, we enjoy you to go through it over and over again and uh, subscribe to it also. So, what we have on the board this today is uh, as we continue with our topic on crop husbandry, and we're looking at the first crop here. The first crop here is maize, and the botanical name is Z maize. I have explained before how the names arrive, the, the, the name I got it. If we want to look at the maize, we call all kinds of maize under the following headings here. We have variety of maize. Another word for varieties for species of maize. And uh, the various varieties of species of maize include tent maize, flint maize, corn, flour corn, pork corn, sweet corn. We all know what we call pork corn, but that kind of corn you put in that, you heat it up, you need to pop. So there are different types of uh, different varieties or species of maize, as you know. Then also too, we have here what you call what method of propagation. Maize is propagated by seed. That means what we, we can use the word maize or corn. So they mean the same thing. Maize is propagated by seed. You get the seeds, dry seeds, and you plant them, they grow. Then let's come look at what climatic and, and soil requirements. Now the ideal climatic condition to grow maize is what is what a temperature of between 26. 26 degrees Celsius, 26 degrees Celsius, and rainfall, average rainfall of between 75 cm to 150 cm. And maize grow very well in a heavily loamy soil, rich in organic matter. Then we come to planting the when we plant maize, yes, naturally, normally, if you have we have what you call the greenhouse program, you can plant maize all year round, but we are we are planning to grow maize using the natural season. In the southern part of Nigeria, maize is mainly grown between March and April. Then, while in the northern part of Nigeria, you grow maize when rainfall has got stabilized around June, yeah, July to August. That way you grow maize. Then also, to what seed rate means what the quantity of seed to plant one hectare of farm land. So, for the case of maize, a, a bag of maize of about dry viable maize of about 25 to, 25 to 30 kg can be used to plant one hectare. The HAA means to divide one hectare. And one hectare means 10,000 meters square. That means what a piece of land is 100 meters long in, in length and 100 meters in width is about a hectare. The spacing for maize is, is said to be what 30 cm by 90 cm. That means what? 30 cm within the row, 90 cm between rows. That's how you plant maize. You plant them, plant them based on the row and exclusively between the rows. Then planting, you can plant maize manually by using of what a small stick to dig the ground and put the maize inside. You can plant maize. You can plant maize using what you can plant using using a stick using a, a, your cutlass to dig and put, and put seeds in, into the ground. Or you can, you can plant maize mechanically using a planter, depending on the size of the farm land. Then we come here to, let's really look at what at a fertilizer application. Now, uh, uh, maize, the, the, the maize plot can be, can be enriched by use of organic fertilizer, but that one is mostly done when the farm land is small. We are doing what we call subsistence or small scale farm, you can get enough organic manure to apply in your farm. But most times in last scale commercial agriculture, inorganic fertilizer, and the most commonly used one is what? NPK, 15-15-15 fertilizer. N stands for nitrogen, P for phosphorus, K for potassium. This one is a, is a, is a chemically formulated fertilizer inorganic that is used to what the life the main plot. So about 200 kg is used but within the first three weeks of planting and it can be applied it can be it can be applied there uh, using what you call what the road system and giving at least at least a uh, 10 to 30 cm uh, the, the cm from the maize plant then we come to after planting of the maize there's also the issue of maintenance cultural practices like what of maintaining it so it can grow properly and well so that all brings up to the issue of wetting or sort of weeding. Weeding. That means when you remove unwanted plants from your basic plant, it's called weeding. 
and which can be done manually. Use of wool and cutlass. You can do it chemically by use of what herbicides. You can use herbicides to kill the weeds, and the type of herbicide you use depends on the what? Depends on the stage of roots of the maize. Then you can also do, do it mechanically by plowing. This, this is mostly done before the base crop is what established. Then when you plant your maize, around when are you expecting to harvest? Maize becomes very mature or ready for harvest when they are about within 60 to 90 days, between two to three months. That would be called wet or fresh maize. And how do you know? You see a, a maize crop, the seed on top becomes, it begins to change, change from what? From green to brown, or begin to dry up. That's an indication that that maize, maize crop is, is now what? Mature. Then, dry maize, the one you plant with what? Harvest as top, is harvested three to four months after planting. Then, how do you harvest maize? When they are mature, how do you harvest them? You can harvest your maize manually by use of sickle. You can use a sharp cutlass, or in some cases, if it's a small farm, you can use the, you can, you can do it by what hand plucking. But in large scale, in large scale farms or in large scale in large commercial farms, you use what you call a harvester or combined harvester. The harvester that what harvest the maize and also what do what you call what minimal processing. Then, lastly, after harvesting, maize is processed before it is used. How do you process maize? You remove the husk from it or the shield. Then after that, the maize cobs are boiled. They can be boiled before use. They can be roasted before they are eaten by man. Then maize can also be processed for that to make corn flakes, corn flour, which is mostly consumed locally. Or it can also be used in, used in industries to prepare what? Beer, to make beer alcoholic drinks and even non-alcoholic drinks. And it's also a very important component component or ingredient in preparing of our livestock feed. The last one on the list is what storage. How do you store maize? Now, first of all, after harvesting maize, before you store, the maize is dried. That is to reduce the moisture content of the maize. Because if the moisture content is not reduced, what happens? The maize will begin to what will decay or rot within a short time. So when it's properly dried, you can store maize cobs in creeps. You can store them locally in what you call robots. Robots are mostly what designed and built with what mud. It's mostly found in other parts of Nigeria. Then you can also store maize uh, in large, in very large commercial quantity in silos or silos. Then in our villages or in our in our homes, maize can also be stored locally over the fireplace. They are tied up over the fireplace, and the idea is that as as you cook. Heat is regenerated, heat now helps to dry up the maize cobs until they are what they are brought down to be used by the farmer, either to for food or to be used to uh, to plant. So once again, thank you very much. Uh, subscribe to this uh, to this uh, channel.